Welcome to Bubble Expert Tutorial 1. In this first tutorial, we will cover basic commonly used functions, such as modifying bubbles, adding and deleting bubbles, and adding leader lines. We will first open our format bubble window, where we can customize our bubbles. There are seven shapes to choose from on the left-hand side. On the right, we can select the bubble's fill, stroke, and text colors, as well as the bubble's size and thickness. Below the bubble parameters are the leader line parameters. The line that originates at the bubble and points to an object the user selects. Lastly, we have the option to choose all or future bubbles, which we will get to later. For now, let's select all and choose some simple parameters. Select OK to close the format box. Next, we will add bubbles to our document by selecting the Add Bubble icon, which is the icon with a plus sign. After selecting the icon, begin clicking where you want the bubbles to appear, and the bubbles will appear in sequential order. We will add just a few to get us started. Now we will change a parameter by opening the format box once again. We will make our bubbles bigger and change the stroke and fill color. After selecting OK, we see the bubbles update automatically. We will now delete a bubble by selecting the delete icon, which is the icon containing an X. After selecting the icon, we can choose the bubbles we would like to delete. After we have deleted all desired bubbles, we can update our sequence if we choose by selecting the icon with the numbers 1, 2, 3. Now we will insert a bubble into the sequence. To do this, we select the icon with the arrow pointing downward. Next, we click exactly where we want the inserted bubble to appear. A box appears prompting us to choose where in the sequence we would like the inserted bubble. I wish to insert the bubble after bubble 1, so I choose accordingly. Select Update Sequence and select OK. The bubble is inserted and the sequence is updated automatically. Next we will reposition one of the bubbles by selecting the icon containing an arrow. After selecting the Move icon, we select and drag the bubble to its new position. Lastly, to add a leader line to this bubble, we choose the icon containing an arrow pointing to a bubble. After selecting the icon, we choose which bubble the leader line will originate from, and then choose to which feature we would like to point to. These basic functions should be more than enough to get you bubbling your documents with ease. Thank you for viewing this tutorial, and check back for more tutorials on more features included in the program.